Hey, so I did it again. I tore the thing apart. Um, power supply unit and graphics cards, new case, new processor, new motherboard. Um, new case came with fans, so I'm ditching the old one too. I'm not ditching it, I'm putting it by the wayside. I uh, definitely have a backup. It's all functional, but this is my upgrade in lieu of new graphics cards. I'm pretty happy with it. So I got the Aero, the Gigabyte Z690 Aero D, I think, for the motherboard. And then I got the Intel 12th generation 127-00KF. Uh, yes, I had to look at it. Uh, pretty expensive. The case wasn't. The case was like 60 bucks. Processor was like 200 bucks. And the motherboard was like 225. Um, I have currently 64 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM in there. And in but instead of buying a graphics card that basically I'm going to run it one more time. A graphics card that would have gotten me any substantial improvement would have been like 1600 bucks, And it would have been better than this, I agree. But this is still like a 30% improvement with uh, just the motherboard. So this is all with the ray tracing and the, uh, the path tracing on too, with 3060 Ti's, two of them. But everything's overclocked. I went through the BIOS real quick and I turned on. Now, I didn't go through all the voltages because that stuff scares me a little bit. But you can adjust all the voltages on the CPU. Not everything, but like 85% of the stuff is tweakable. So this is with path tracing and ray tracing. And it's like a 30 to 40% increase in my frames give or take depending on how you look at it I guess going up or going down so before I was running after everything was said and done in 1080 with path tracing and ray tracing on um, like 63 to 66 and now I'm like right at 80 and that's without changing the graphics cards at all just pretty much everything else from 8th generation up to 12th generation and I have a lot more room to expand with this thing like I could add another 64 gigabytes of RAM I have another, technically two other PCIe slots. I have two extra M2 slots. So expansion wise, there's plenty of room on this thing. I mean, not room, it's tiny. It's everything stacked on top of each other, but it's expandable. Um, so, I'm pretty pleased because if I do decide to get like a graphics card in the future, uh, this thing can really handle about anything. But ultimately the reason that I went kind of nuts here was this might be fast enough of a memory to actually facilitate multiple graphics cards doing more than minimal and I'm gonna see
but I think that there's like capacity here to have like shared memory because I forgot exactly how fast the memory goes but I'm looking at it right now what, 6400 so yeah it's basically fast memory um, I think that's three times the speed of my old memory and that should make a big difference with utilizing multiple graphics cards in my mind I don't know it, it just it makes sense to me logically that that would be like the right direction to go and uh, yeah so it's pretty cool big improvement in my numbers and um, granted my playing hasn't improved but my numbers have so 65 to 80